So now let us try to use partial fraction method in order to integrate a rational function. Uh, and here there are two types of rational function. The first one is proper rational function and the second one is improper rational function. So what is proper? If the degree of numerator is less than the degree of its denominator, then it is called proper. For example, x square plus 2 divided by x3 plus 2, you see degree of numerator 2 and denominator 3, so this one is proper, but the opposite one is improper. So if the degree of numerator is greater than or equal degree of its uh, denominator, then it is called improper. So for example, x3 plus 2 divided by x square plus 2. So this one is improper rational function. So now first we want to integrate proper rational function by the help of partial fraction method. So let us try an example, example 1 evaluate this integral. So here first you need to factorize the denominator. So here x square plus x minus 2 is equal x square uh, plus 2x minus x minus 2 which is equal x plus 2 minus 1 into x plus 2 this is equal x plus 2 into x minus 1. So the factors of denominator is x plus 2 and x minus 1. So let us consider the integrand. The integrand is this one. 1 by x square plus x minus 2 is equal. Since you have two factors x plus 2 plus x minus 1 you will get two partial fraction. So we do not know what should be the numerator. Let us say this one is A constant and another constant B. Since the denominator is linear, so numerator should be constant. Let us consider this one equation 1. Now multiplying both sides of equation 1 by, by its denominator x square plus x minus 2. That implies 1 equal a into x minus 1 plus b times x plus 2. Let us say this one is equation 2. And now we want to calculate the unknown quantity a and b. We can do it by two ways, like I said before. So first let us try, let us put x equal to 1 in 2. So we have 1 equal a into 1 minus 1 plus b into 1 plus 2. This implies 1 equal 0, since 1 minus 1 equals 0, 3b therefore b equal 1 by 3 and similarly by putting x equal minus 2 because now we want to remove b so x equal minus 2 in equation 2 gives 1 equal a into minus 2 minus 1 plus 0 because minus 2 plus 2 equals 0. This implies minus 3a equal 1 therefore a equal minus 1 by 3. So now putting the values of a and b in equation 1 we get 1 by x square plus x minus 2 equal a equal minus 1 third x plus 2 plus b equal 1 third x minus 1. Now we want to integrate it. So integrating both sides with respect to x, 
we get plus 1 by 3 x minus 1 dx which is equal minus 1 third non x plus 2 plus 1 by 3 is a constant so you can take it out of integration plus integrating constant c which is equal 1 by 3 ln x minus 1 has a positive sign before and the preceding sign of x ln x plus 2 is negative 1 so you can write it in the denominator plus c so this is the result so let us try another example to evaluate this one and here the denominator the okay, is x cube minus 2x square and you can factorize it like this way so you have two factors two linear factors and one is raised to the power 2 therefore we need to write a by x plus b by x square plus c by x minus 2 and multiplying both sides by x cube minus 2x square we can write a x into x minus 2 plus b x square so you have remaining factor x minus 2 b into x minus 2 plus c or x minus 2 so if you divide this one by x minus 2 you have x square that's uh, this one equation number two now how can we calculate a b and c here first let us uh, consider x equal to so x equal to in two gives four plus four equal this one will be zero this one will be zero and 2 square means 4 c therefore c equal 8 divided by 4 which is equal to 2 and again x equal 0 in 2 gives 0 plus 4 so in the left side we have 4 this one will be 0 this one will be minus 2 b and this one will be 0 therefore b equal minus 2 now you need to use the second y in order to calculate a and this one we can do by equating the coefficient of x square from both sides so you see uh, what we are doing equating we are equating coefficient of x square from both sides of 2 so there is no x square in the left side so the coefficient of x square is 0 and we have a x square minus 2a so the coefficient of x square is a plus there is no x square and another x coefficient of x square is c so we we'll, we already have c which is 2 therefore a equal minus 2 so now by putting a b and c in the equation 1 we can write minus 2 b also minus 2 and c equal 2 now integrating both sides with respect to x we get 2x plus 4 divided by x3 minus 2x squared dx is equal minus 2 integration of 1 by x minus 2 integration of 1 by x squared plus 2 integration of 1 by x minus 2 which is equal minus 2 ln x minus 2 x to the power minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1 
plus 2 ln x minus 2 plus integrating constant. So, this equal minus 2 ln x minus 2 by x and since you have a minus sign here, minus and minus will make plus plus 2 ln x minus 2 absolute value of x minus 2 plus c this equal 2 ln x minus 2 divided by x plus 2 by x plus c so this is the answer so let us try another example and here if you factorize the denominator you have two factors one is linear and one another one is quadratic so the linear factor decomposition of this fraction will be a by x t x minus 1 and since this one is quadratic the numerator should be linear which is bx plus c now multiplying both sides of equation 1 by its denominator 3x square 3x3 minus x square plus 3x minus 1 gives a into x square plus 1 plus bx plus c into 3x minus 1 equation 2. Now by putting x equal to 1 by 3 we can make this term 0. So this one will vanish. This implies a equal minus 7 by 5. So we have a equal minus 7 by 5. Now equating the coefficient from both sides, let's do it. Ax square plus a plus 3bx square plus 3cx minus bx minus c. So equating the coefficient of x square from both sides, we can write 1 equal a plus 3b and equating the coefficient of x from both sides, we can write 1 equal 3c minus b and equating the constant term from both sides, we can write minus 2 equal a minus c. So now if you put the value of a in the third equation, you will get c which will be c equal minus uh, 3 by 5 and if you put c in the second one, you will get b which is 4 by 5. Now by setting these three results in the in equation 1, we get minus 7 by 5 and b equal 4 by 5, c equal 3 by 5. So now integrating both sides of equation 1 with respect to x, we get minus 3x minus 1, bx equal minus 7 by 5 integration of 1 by 3x minus 1 plus, you can separate it by writing 4 by 5 x divided by x square plus 1 plus 3 by 5 divided by x square plus 1. So this equal minus 7 by 5 ln 3 x minus 1 divided by 3 since the derivative of 3 x minus 1 equal to 3. So you need to divide this by 3 plus 4 by 5 x divided by x square plus 1 dx. But to use the formula, we need 2 x here. So I should set here uh, divided by 2 and put 2 x here plus 3 by x integration of 1 by 1 plus x square dx, which is equal minus 7 by 15 ln 3x minus 1 plus 4 will be 2 because you can cancel it 2 by 5 ln x square plus 1 
and you don't need to use absolute sign here because x square plus 1 is always positive plus 3 by 5 integration of 1 by 1 plus x square equal 10 inverse x plus integrating constant c so this is the answer so these are the homeworks um, from 1 1 2 3 4 5 6, 7, 8, 9. I also write the answer here. So you can check in your apartment whether then you, you can find the correct answer or not. So that's the end of this lecture 4. And here we use partial fraction technique in order to integrate proper rational functions. But in, in, in the in lecture 5, we will again use partial fraction technique in order to integrate improper rational functions. Hope you enjoy this lecture and hope to find you in the next lecture. Thank you very much.